What is up gamers, my name is Jo3, welcome back to another story time, I know crazy, and this is the most recent one, like, chronologically in my life to take place, that I've told on YouTube. It was literally like a few days ago, well, like a week and a half ago when you're seeing this, but a week, cause you know, <laughs> I'm not here. Um, I'm actually on my way back home by the time you're seeing this, probably. Yeah, I would have started back home. So, uh, yeah, that's fun. Uh, yes, I'll probably have vlogged, or at least took some photos I'll show either on a stream or a video. I don't know yet. Um, but, uh, this story, it's actually more of, like, smaller stories put into one to make this make sense. You read the title. I've had a very similar video to what was, at the time, the worst teacher I had ever had. Well, I'm pleased to announce that teacher's been topped. Mostly. This one doesn't have a turtle that just roams around the room. But besides that, um, so we're going to call this person, hmm, their last name is stupid to begin with, but I won't dox them because that's a shitty thing to do. Their name reminds me of a movie, but I don't want to use their name, so we'll just call them a different one that's also animated. We'll just call them the Lorax. They don't speak for the trees and they're not Vietnamese, but it's funnier that way. And if someone, because I can't use the real name. Anyways, so Miss Lorax, or Miss L, there we go, because she's the embodiment of having to take an L when you have her class. So Miss L was an English teacher, a senior English teacher. So this should already make sense. Um, Miss L, at first, was okay. Seemed like your normal English teacher. Seemed like the teacher that was going to be the biggest pain in my ass. But not because of them personally. Just because they're wor how they're wor they run their class. Like workflow wise. And that's fine. You have one or two every year regardless of what classes you take. And if you take like advanced classes or not. You always still have one or two. That are always a pain in your ass. Uh, and think you prioritize high school when you're graduating regardless. As long as you pass. Um, and it's your last year and you just want to be done. They think that's like the priority in your life when it's probably like fifth down on things I care about. And I don't care about a lot of things. <laughs> uh, I don't really care about it, to be honest with you. I especially did in the second half of the year. But the one thing I'll give her, most seniors have some sort of project or something they have to do. Uh, and she split ours instead of just doing it, uh, signing it all at the beginning. She, well, she told us everything at the beginning, but only made a certain part and made a certain part do every term. And I don't know whether that's worse or better, because normally it's due just at the end of the year. But admittedly, her making part of it due every term made me actually work on it before the end of the year. So, I don't know whether it was worse or better. Uh, she basically, her teacher, or her teaching was based around learning Old English, then like, less Old English, and then Modern English, by reading different things. Um, and it kind of was shit, to be honest. Doesn't help. One term we spent remote because our our county and our state said no, don't go there. After we were already on a, a, a change schedule, a not normal schedule. So uh, that happened. Then third term was when we really started to have problems. Uh. Because she, it was a term where she signed literally two things, basically, and a few checkups. And it was group work. This is where it gets bad. She didn't let us pick our own groups for one. And she put me with all the people. Except one. One dude, we put in work in when he was there. I'll give him that. Uh, but besides him, the group of people that literally did nothing. They maybe did work, like, twice. While we're working on our uh, uh, things. Uh, the first project, admittedly, everyone worked. But they gave us, like, a week to do it. And a week. Like, they assigned our groups on, like, a Monday. And then it was due, like, the next Monday. Uh, without really explaining what we were supposed to do. So, everyone just did a PowerPoint for that one. And then we weren't allowed to do a PowerPoint on the big project. Like, big group project. With the same group, mind you. After it was very clear, half the groups needed a few switch-ups. But especially our group. Um, and that we just, yeah, we had to read a book and do stuff with it and do a uh, like pres presentation of some sort at the end. 
Luckily, I got out of the presentation because my family wanted me to go remote, uh, and I did. So I and I didn't really care because I was going to graduate in a term, less than a term anyway. Well, about a term. This is like the last week of third term. So uh, we managed to get a B on that project, by the way. Uh, or at least I did. They may have got a slightly higher grade because they actually got to present, which is fine. I don't care. Um, then fourth term comes around. So let me, let me, I, fourth term was where it was just terrible. Fourth term, I don't even know how to explain it to be honest. So fourth term, it started normal. We had an assignment. I didn't do so well on the assignment. I may have procrastinated a little bit, but I took ownership over that, and that's fine. I still got it in on time, just maybe not everything, because it was 18 assignments. It was an entire unit. She assigned it at the beginning for all remote students, uh, and then we had until it was due to, due to you know, turn it in. It was like a month, and I procrastinated, admittedly. That's my fault. I took ownership over that one. And I did really well on the next assignment. Spoiler, we had three assignments if we were remote students. So I did really bad on the first one, well, not great, and did pretty well on the second one. So my grade was a C, a high C at the time, but still a C. So I was like, okay, as long as I do decent the rest of the year, we get up to a B at least, and that's fine, that's fine. I, my family isn't that strict about, like, grades. They just don't, they, if I'm, I'm getting a C, they'll be a little disappointed. But if I, if I get below that, that's when they get a little upset. Freshman year. Uh, <laughs> you signed something, admittedly, but the site we used online didn't show the assignment on the assignment, like, board thing it has. Until after it was due. So I did it. I got it turned in as soon as I could get it done. Explain the situation. Took some accountability because admittedly I should have looked further because like it was in the class folders or whatever. Like the remote folders. But you know, assignments, I had never had an issue the entire year for an assignment not popping up on the assignment like board the site we use, you know, has. So, I assumed I wouldn't have, it would, I, I admittedly assumed I wouldn't have an issue because it literally did not happen once the entire year till then or after. So I was like, hey. Admittedly, I should have looked further, but also admittedly, the site sucks. We never had this issue last year when we had to do remote for like three weeks until they said it was not required. Uh, so, she didn't respond. She put a zero in. Well, she put a zero in, I turned it in. That's how I noticed it, because I didn't see this on once on the assignment board. I saw like when she put a grade in. So I was like, and so I sent that. She didn't respond. For a week. Or nothing. Didn't send a message. Didn't grade it or anything. So I sent another me like message on the assignment. Like, hey, am I getting points for this? Uh, Pretty much now knowing, because it was we were nearing the end of the year, this was probably the last big assignment I had. So I had to do decent on it if I wanted a decent grade. Mind you, it brought my grade down to um, not a very nice one. Not a fail, but also not great. I'll say that. Uh, so another few days goes by. It's either the morning of a graduation practice or the morning of graduation. I don't remember which I did. I think it was the morning of graduation. Yeah, it was. Um, I said, oh, thanks, Miss L, but her actual name. Really appreciate it. Because by that point, I was fed up. I turned in the work. I didn't want, I didn't expect full credit because it wasn't admittedly late, but usually she has late credit, like at least some available. Usually it's like half or at least like maybe like 75% if it's like a day late. So I expected, you know, I could at least get enough points to, you know, keep a C. It's not the greatest grade in the world, but a high C isn't also the worst in the world. It's just average. So graduation goes through. Uh, nothing happens. Grades closed, like, I think our their last day of teaching was, like, the 7th or 8th or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, so I, you know, I ask my uh, legal guardian, and they call the school, uh, which leads them to call in the counselor. Counselor leaves a message. Nothing happens. 
Two more days go by. I'll call again. The counselor's like, well, you graduated anyway. But you see, that's not the point. The point is the teacher just blatantly ignored me when I turned in stuff, wanting, hoping to get some credit. Just blatantly ignored that I turned in work and did work for her shitty class. The worst class I had in all of high school, honestly. She's a piece of shit teacher. Uh, and eventually I got a message after the counselor called her again or left her a message or something. Oh, sorry. Since you were remote, even though you it was not even fully your fault that you did not see it because the site we use is ass, there's no late credit available. Even though it was only like a few, like two days, two school days late, which admittedly isn't great. Well, come on. There's nothing? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking serious? Like... I wanted to respond and just go off on her, but I didn't. I just got off the like the the school site and was just annoyed the rest of the day. Still annoyed to this day, but not as much as when she and I first read that message. And uh yeah, English teachers fucking suck sometimes. That's the, the moral of the story here, and I feel bad for whoever has her um next year and a year after that until she were in the year after that until she were hopefully retires because she is the worst teacher i ever had and that's the story thank you for watching like help subscribe for more uh i have a few more stories from this specific year of high school that just passed my senior year if you want to see those or if you want to hear like other stories uh i can do those uh this will be the last video i'm recording at way ahead of time so you know back to normal stuff with Wednesday's upload. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one.